Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy again. You know, I uploaded that video. I wasn't happy with it. I don't know why. The spread didn't really feel like it was hitting the mark, okay? So I want to just, we're just going to play, all right? Because the last video I did, I did a, a set spread, right? Spirit's just telling me there's a lot more going on that came out in that video. And if I want to do a true energy check-in, I need to kind of do it intuitively, right? We just need to get into the energies and do an intuitive read. Look at that. Cut in the deck. Heartbreak in the home. Heartbreak in the home for some of the divine masculine and divine feminines. Okay, you guys know the drill. Everything you need is in the description box below. This is impromptu energy check-in for divine masculine, divine feminine. I want to see what's going on. And I'm winging it because that seems to be the way the best readings come out. Okay, spirit, show me what's going on. Right now with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Ooh, bottom of the deck, world card. All right, so because we're doing this impromptu, I didn't set my intentions for a, a certain way. Oh, and look, I forgot to shut my phone off. Go figure. Let me put that on. Told you impromptu. <laughs> All right. So just give me a moment to kind of gel in the message. Okay. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing masculine i'm not even showing you guys the cards this is going to be an intuitive read you're just going to have to trust me okay and if you're the kind of people that like to see the cards then you know check out my daily reads um i don't know i just really felt called to the table to do a really really good energetic check-in for divine masculine divine feminine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to intuit this reading and then I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to do another reading because there are more than one group of masculine and feminines out there. And hopefully we will get a more rounded view of what's going on with everybody, not just certain groups on certain timelines, right? Okay, so this reading, because like I said, I'm going to toss another one here. This reading here is for some this is for this is for the ones that have divine masculines that are still in a third party situation okay and i'm going to tell you why well i said i wasn't going to show you all the cards right <laughs> but i'm going to maybe all of them i don't know but this is the bottom of the deck okay so a new start a new offer, a new, insp this is inspired action, okay? Inspired action can bring you a new beginning or an ending because there are some of you that are working on both at the same time, okay? Closing out one cycle so another can begin, but there has to be inspired action, period. No more thinking, no more sitting in the clouds, no more five of cups, nine of swords, which is, you know, on the board. Okay. Spirit's trying to tell you 
if you are a div divine masculine and you're married or you're living with somebody or you're a workaholic or whatever, you know, third party situation means there is another energy, another energy in between you and your divine feminine. So spirit saying inspired action, you've going to have to move. You're going to have to make a move, right? To have that ending and new beginning. And the reason why I said, I think you're dealing with water sign, which it doesn't have to be. It could be an energy because the king of cups is all about um, balancing out his emotions. It, it's, He's not wearing his heart on his sleeve, but he has deep emotions, okay? But then we have the nine of pentacles as the clarifier. And that for me is my single card. It's my, you know, it's my pre-empress. It doesn't, I'm feeling this is the masculine's energy. He is wanting his heart, his soul is wanting to be independent, to be single. And I feel like he's working on that. And if he's not, then spirit saying inspired action needs to be taken. Okay, and then I've got the three of cups clarified by the queen of swords. What I'm seeing here is the Queen of Swords is saying, no more third-party situations. No more. If you come at me with that shit, look at her. If you come at me with this party-ass energy, you know, of every girl in town, or because it doesn't have to be marriage. It could be dating. It could be running around. It could be... You know, whatever, everybody's situation is different. But this is a definite message as far as I'm concerned about masculine trying to free himself. And the feminine saying, you can come toward me with your truth and your clarity, but you better be telling the truth and you better not be cheating. And you better not be lying to me about being single. Or it's not going to work is what I'm seeing. OK, then we have the strength card with a power hitter, the high priestess here. Once again, there's all signs are on the board. It, yeah, all signs are on the board, but there's a lot of water here. Um, it's pr primarily water and swords. There's fire. But. So what I'm seeing here is with the strength card. I feel like this is a message for both divine masculine and divine feminine. You have to have strength and courage and faith and trust your inner knowing. You've got to trust. you got to trust what you know you know. Quit second guessing. Is this my twin? Isn't this my twin? You know, what are they doing? How are they thinking? You know, because primarily you're twins. So why do we doubt everything that comes to us? Why do we doubt that we have the strength? And, and like, this is the empress taming the masculine. Not necessarily, I mean, I don't want to, come at you with the whole, you know, I'm greater than thou. No, but it, this is, this is, <laughs> my cat's playing with her cat pole. This divine feminine is trying to tame the beast. Distorted masculine. And in order to do that, you're going to have to go within. you got to quit watching, you know, 50 billion videos. Only watch what you're called to. I try to watch maybe one of mine, one of his, and a twin flame one for a daily check-in, right? That's it. 
because if I if I did like I used to, I'd never get nothing done. I'd be sitting around watching videos for validation on what I already know. You already know. I feel like this is the masculine's energy. This is the page. Okay, over here it's the night. This is advice from spirit. Don't be the page, okay? Be the knight. Don't be the page. He is so stressed and worried about communicating. He he feels really like his confidence level is really low. Scared to death that if he comes at her with this offer, it's going to be off with his head. But I feel that the feminines aren't worried about anything except for being chosen. There can't be, she needs to be the chosen one. Because in the 5D, it's what you both did. You signed a contract, a spiritual contract. I just saw 11, 11, I think a few seconds ago. <laughs> But you have a soul's contract. You signed up for this in the 5D. So I think her biggest fear is abandonment. I think most of the divine feminines are working with abandonment issues. I think divine masculines are working with commitment issues, at least the, the waves that I'm channeling. So I think because they've had such commitment issues in the past. For some of them, they married women that didn't challenge them. They made them feel comfortable because commitment issues, right? For others, they've grown spiritually and they've matured and they're like, I know that in the past I've had severe problems with commitment issues and now here I am married or I'm living with somebody or I'm in a job that I've been in forever, whatever the situation is. And, and uh, I want to do the right thing. I, I want to honor my commitment. So they have a choice to make. And I believe the feminines do too. They have a choice to make. They can be a people pleaser and accept less than what they're supposed to be worth just so that they can be the chosen one. But I don't think they're going to fall for it this time. So if you're a masculine and you're watching, she knows her worth. She's not a queen. She's not a page right? She's the empress. And the empress encompasses all four queens, as does the emperor for the masculine. So what I'm seeing on the board here is, you know, all that inner work and purging and everything that we've been working on for so long, I'm seeing that we're not done. Simple as that. If you're a feminine and you thought that you had cleared your, your fear of ab abandonment, not if this story resonates with you. And if you're a masculine and you're watching and you think that by staying in a toxic relationship that you don't belong in is overcoming your commitment issues, You're delusioned, disillusioned, whatever the word is, right? So I want to look at, yeah, look, decisions right there underneath the world card. I'm going to toss this and we'll see if there's another group of people that need messages or if this is like the major wave that Spirit's wanting to deal with. So I'm going to shuffle on camera so that y'all know that everything's been shuffled multiple times. 
All right, Spirit, we want to tap into Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energies. The ones that you believe need the messages the most. And possibly for some that just would really like some guidance right now on their journey too because not everybody's in the same phase of the journey look at that bottom of the deck can't make this shit up i always look at my cut <laughs> whenever i'm inspired to and i've got the high priestess with the wheel of fortune you know both of you know this is destined This is destiny. Not because of some higher force. You know, yeah, they help and they're definitely in on it. But you guys chose this. You chose this. This is a true calling. And you need to take it serious. And I'm talking to the one, you know. If that resonated with you, you know who I'm talking to, right? Because spirit brings it to me and it needs to be said. All right, let's toss another one. Now, who? I'm liking it. Well, most of it. <laughs> wow. Gosh. All right. So for this group of people, I hope this resonates with another group. Maybe it'll resonate with all groups. I don't know. But we have the chariot clarified by the lovers, the two of cups. Not the lovers, the two of cups. Underneath that, the hierophant. Just so you know, it's destined. This group is really close to union. This group is right on track, is what I'm hearing. On track, in their chariot, moving forward toward this Two of Cups. So I'm, I'm feeling a different energy here than I did in the first ones. We have the Four of Wands, the 1111 card, clarified by the Ace of Swords, truth, victory, victory. Um, crown Chakra, the opening of the Crown Chakra. This is, this is, this is, I know, I know. This is, I know, I know. that union's close. I know that union's close. I can feel it. I can feel it. Ace of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love, a lot of emotion here. Okay, gushing, gushing. I wanna ask Spirit about this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Ooh. Why is the queen of cups, or what energy? Is this masculine or feminine energy, please? Masculine or feminine energy, queen of cups. Masculine. For me as a reader, the sun card represents the divine masculine. The moon is the divine feminine. It's, the, it's mother, father, God. Mother, moon, father, sun. Okay, so even though it's appearing as a queen of cups, it is the masculine energy. Okay, it's hard to tell with the court cards sometimes. So I wanted to clarify it. And that was really clear. So the masculine's all up in his feels, right? He's gushing, right? Feminine in this group is also coming forward. And I, I feel this but I'm going to clarify it. I think this is the feminine because of the energy of the last group, but I will clarify it. Okay. Once again, 
It's clarified here by the 10 and eight of swords. Okay. So I feel like she doesn't know how to move forward out of this pain. She just doesn't know how to get to the end. It's like, you know, do I cut it off? Do I have, it's all swords. It's all thoughts. Cerebral. There is no heart going on here at the moment for this group, but I'm going to clarify it. Okay. But she feels stuck in repeated cycles, repeated timelines, repeated heartbreak, right? I've been stabbed so many times in the past, not just with her masculine, but probably with every man she's ever attracted into her life. Ten of swords, eight of swords. Feeling trapped in a cycle. Because what we're supposed to be learning as divine feminines is to break the cycle, right? No more narcissists, no more men that don't choose us, no more men that walk out of a, out on us in the middle of the night. No more um no more swords in my heart or in my back. She's just really stuck in a cycle. And I'm here to tell you, the only way to get out of that cycle is through healing. You can't go over it, you can't go under it, you got to go through it. You just got to go through it. Okay, but I'm going to clarify this Queen of Swords just to see if it's masculine or feminine energy because I could be wrong. Okay, Spirit, Queen of Swords, masculine or feminine energy? Is this divine masculine or divine feminine? This is not definitive. I feel like this is a shared energy because spirit's usually very precise and this is not definitive. I got the death card with the three of cups, the six of swords, the seven of cups and the nine of wands. So this is a story. This is a repeated pattern for both of them. And that's what is trying to be cleared here. That's what this death and transformation card is. It's all about ending those cycles. It's about ending those cycles, you know, ending third party situations, ending cheating and, and manipulating. And, and it's moving away from those behaviors. That's a six of swords. I've learned my lesson and I want to get to calmer waters. So I'm taking my lessons and I'm heading out away from this behavior, closing out this cycle forever. But I'm confused about holding on or letting go. And I do believe this is both of their energies. A little more maybe possibly feminine. I don't know. Take it if it resonates with you, right? This is death to the old cycle, moving into calmer waters, having decisions to make, choices to choose about should I give it one last try? Should we give this one last try? Just one more Outcome cards, Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. The Six of Pentacles is balance. It's reciprocity, okay? And equal give and take, okay? Um, you can't be the only one texting and the other person just responds when you reach out. They need to take action too. Another example is... Um, equal reciprocity. I, I love you as much as you love me. I will devote as much time to you as you do me. Equal. You're balanced. Okay. King of Swords. This energy feels like the masculine. It feels like he is resolute 
because he knows this is what he needs to do. This is what they both need to do. And he knows it. And it's like he's determined. Look at, look at him leaning forward in his throne with his sword on his knee and his hand on the arm like he's about to get up. What's he moving toward? What is he getting up? He's resolute. He's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to figure this out. I've made my mind up that I yearn for balance and I yearn for equal give and take because maybe where he's been, there hasn't been any reciprocity. Maybe there, nobody's giving to him as much as he gives. And it could be vice versa too. Let's get a clarifier on this King of Swords, please. Clarifier on the King of Swords. Clarifier on the King of Swords. Yeah, he's chosen. Look at, he's got his hand on the wand that he wants. And there's one he's letting go of. One he, he's not, this is not chosen. Okay? He's got the whole world in his hands. And he's made a choice. And he looks pretty resolute. So for this group, I feel like, they're really getting close to vibrating in the union frequency. Okay, so Spirit, I would like some energy cards for all divine masculines and feminines because I'm going to dinner and I want to. That's a lot of cards. Let me see if they resonate with the reading or if I'm just being clumsy. Oh, no, I feel like this is a message. The answers you need are coming. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Pisces. Or Aries, I'm sorry. Full moon in Aries. I was reading backwards. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. That's, that's this. Right? That's this. That's closing out this. And it's trusting. Can we try this one more time? Do I have it in me? Do I really have the strength and stamina to give this relationship one more try? Step out of your comfort zone. A fiery climax approaches. The answers you need are coming. It's time to release negativity. Transformation. A time to give rather than take. Six of pentacles. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sag. Pretty, sh pretty deep shit, guys. I'm just saying. Wow, Spirit really, really wants to just jabber. Look at all these cards. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. We got happy family with DC. Yeah, look at this guy. Sneaky Pete. For some of you, I feel like the masculine is being deceitful about how he's going to end the uh, third party situation. And that's not good energy. So if you're watching, don't do that shit. Okay. Honesty is the best policy. Then we have action with door to value. When the masculine and feminine come together in mission work, they make a lot of money. Not even trying. It's just, you know, part of the journey. It's part of the journey. Because you have to have enough for yourself and plenty to share in order to be on mission, right? You got to be able to get on a plane and go somewhere. You got to be able to have the best lighting for your videos. Whatever your mission work is, there's door to value. And the time is now. Time is now. This is also self-worth, door to value. I'm hearing a lot of you guys still need to work on your inner love, loving yourself unconditionally, mirror work, right? That's what the twin flame journey does is you mirror each other, okay? Like I said, sometimes you guys get the best of me, sometimes you get the worst, right? That's the way a symbiotic relationship works. I'm not always going to comb my hair for you. I'm not always going to put makeup on for you. I might not get dressed for you, but there are going to be times when I'm going to show up like tonight because I'm, I'm not dressed yet, but I'm heading out. So I put on my makeup. I did my hair. Door to value. 
You got to accept the best and the worst of your partner in order to come into true union. And there's a lot of deceit in somebody's home. It's time to move away from that. It's time to let that cycle die. And know your worth. All right. This group are vibrationally coming closer into alignment every day. The others, well, both groups, I feel both groups have some growing to do because this came up, right? But I see a lot more love on the board with group number two than group number one. They're analyzing and thinking about things. They're not really in their feels, right? All right. I love you guys. This has been your second twin flame reading. And I'm sorry that the first one sucks so bad. Um, I try to be like other readers sometimes because, you know, they've got thousands and thousands of viewers and I don't. And spirit keeps bringing me back to the raw. They keep saying, you know, sorry. I don't know. Maybe it's not my destiny to have thousands and thousands of viewers. Maybe I'm just supposed to be there for the right ones, for the important ones, right? So if you're watching this video, thank you. And, uh, I hope it resonated and I'm sorry for the crappy first one I posted. Okay. It's, it, I was just trying to fit in. I wanted to, you know, Oh, this means this and this means that, and this means this. No spirit says it's time to take off the mask and to get real. So here I am the best and the worst of me. And I hope I resonate with some of you out there. Okay. And if I don't, it's okay. Click off. I love you.